Hello everyone and welcome to a midnight vlog because <laughs> it is very dark. It's not actually a midnight vlog. We're just in England in November so it's 4.30 at the minute and this is the start of one of the most mental things I've ever been asked to do. Honestly, when I got this phone call guys, I had a little think myself after I thought I'm really blinking lucky to do what I do. Um, so yeah, thanks to all of you for making this possible. So, literally, not very long ago, a few days ago, I had a random text out of the blue from none other than Piggy March saying, Meg, would you like to get involved in my demos that I'm doing? She's doing Piggy TV on tour, on the road, going off and doing really cool demos with really cool other riders and like special guests. I'm not referring to myself in that. <laughs> She's done them with like Laura Collett, Ros Cantor. Tonight's one is with Nicola Wilson, like big, big names. Anyway, so she sent me that text and I was like, hell yes, I'd love to. But it turns out the one she was thinking of doing, I couldn't make the day. And I was like, oh no, I'm really, really sad. Like, would have been amazing. And she was like, well, there is one this Saturday, but that's like, it's a bit crazy to ask you to do that. And I was like, Piggy, I will be there. However, it's all the way up in Yorkshire. We've got Peter here. We've got Han in back. Well, I'm just concentrating as one. Sorry. <laughs> um, so she's like, don't worry, like if it's too far. And I was like, no, like it's fine, but the, like the issue is I probably won't be able to come because I won't be able to get mum to drive a horse all that way at short notice. And she was like, well, you just ride one of mine. And I was like, so after I picked my jaw up off of the floor, I was like, 100% yes. So that is where we're going now, guys. It's at Bishop Burton, which is a college I've actually been to before. In fact, there's actually a vlog of when I did Bucks on this very channel you're watching years and years ago when I was back at university, a little whip of snapper. Um, my birthday it's tomorrow. It's a long window, long window in, intro, tomorrow. isn't it? Isn't it? It's because I'm really excited and happy. Sorry, Pete. Oh, God. God. Yeah, guys, How old are you tomorrow then? Granite, yeah. Fun sponge. Fun sponge. Hey. Fun sponge. People I mean, make a bit of a chatty video. How old are you, you tomorrow then? Come on. I don't want to tell that. It's <laughs> <laughs> yes, tomorrow, is it? 31. I think it's 32, Anne. Right, I'm still sub 30, just like my dressage scores. Just about. Not all just of them. Like dressage scores. <laughs> a, lot of them are, a lot of them are plus 30, aren't you? 31, 32. That's true. That's true. Well, I'm still a very good dressage score age, so <laughs> take that how score. you will. You are. Go on, I'd love to get a dressage score your age. I bet <laughs> you would. That ain't gonna happen. Um, <laughs> Where was I? It's gonna be absolutely mega. So I'm riding, uh, P literally rang me last night to tell me what I was riding. Everyone's be like, do you know what you're riding yet? I'm like, mm-mm. Um, but he sounds right up my street. She said he's 19 going on five. So it's an old horse that she used to ride. She did Blenheim on him in 2019 and was third, I think. Um, yeah, she said he's mega, like got a fifth leg, you'll love riding him, but apparently just really, really keen and really whizzy. She was like, you you might think to yourself at some point, wow, I'm going too fast. <laughs> but she's like, Meg, I'll be fine with that. So yeah, that's who I'm riding. Don't really know how big he is or anything like that, but we'll uh, we'll see. I just want to clarify also, guys, because everyone's like, oh, Pete's such a good boyfriend driving everywhere. We've literally just swapped. <laughs> I'll be here. We swapped about half an hour ago. Uh, hopefully, no. <laughs> hopefully you're following Han, because you'll have seen on her story, passenger princess Peter was asleep, asleep in the back. Well, Meg drove for like three hours. And then it's because you girls were, like, are gossiping in the front, yeah. so I needed exactly. a bit of escape. Gossiping, gossiping, gossiping about you, So Peter. demeaning. <laughs> anyway. We will see you. We're getting there. We're really early. Pleased to know. Well, that's a bit shaky, wouldn't it, Meg? Um, and we're doing the VIP thing first. Also, guys, if you're thinking I'm looking exquisite, it's the phone light. Isn't that nice? And we've also done my makeup in the dark, but we both have, so yeah. we might look completely different when we get there. Okay, this has been a long intro. See you. Live, laugh, love. See Live, laugh, love. love. <laughs> see you for part two. Bye. We've arrived. Piggy's box there. One of the first people here. Hey! Hey! Okay, so you've seen. 
We've seen Piggy, we've seen Nicola. Both absolutely lovely. Shop some Piggy merch. Here we are at beautiful Bishop Burton. Such a nice place. Look at this. We've got Piggy and Nick down there sorting out what we're gonna do. The Piggy was cameraman's not very happy about the lighting. Maybe is he not? Is it gonna get brighter than this or not? No. Well, mm. he's going Tony, home it's then. It's really bright. He's what going do you mean? home. You just stood down there and it was bright. It's mm. quite orange like, isn't it? It's not like. Also, not doing the makeup in the dark was not a good shout. Anyway, so it sounds pretty cushy because Piggy's going first, just Piggy and Nick. And then there's another session with Isabel and Piggy. So again, I have to watch that. Um, and then I think it's my go. About Where are we going? Shh, shh, shh. Examine progress. Shh. Um, yeah, like quarter like, like, to nine, nine pm. Yeah. I said to Piggy, I've been waiting for something. I'm falling asleep by the She looked kind of like you're going to be snoozing. Um, and they've been so sweet. Nick was just like, oh, don't worry, like if it's not going well, we'll just like go down a different path and no one's going to know that we've changed what we're supposed to be doing. So, yeah, well, that's very good. Oh, it's sandwiches. Cool it's time for bigger horse, any horse. Well, this one's definitely Halo. Oh, there we go. I, I think my one is the one at the back nearest to us from my internet stalking. Because I don't remember him having any white markings. Should I get involved? Hey, you, you would love to be a groom for piggy. There's four horses and a need to be a groom, so... My maths is correct. Mate, you could you could make this I jump. I pop that. You could make this. He did stress more than I'd have liked that he gets very excited. Yeah, so she was like, oh, he's really, really, really cool, really sweet, really nice horse. And then she was like, yeah, so when he spooks, he like legs everywhere, like really spooks. We were like, okay. <laughs> With the way she was like, he'll just go like, no. <laughs> I was like, what's that mean? Like, what does it mean, Biggie? Oh god. Yeah. It's so exciting. Also, so I've just had to go over what I'm allowed to vlog and excited to tell you that I can show all of mine, which is very cool because I don't think these are going on Piggy TV. If you want to see Piggy TV on tour, you've got to come on the tour guys. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm allowed to show all of mine, but I think Piggy and Nick's exercises, like the, the secret recipe to success are gonna be not shown just yet, so they won't be on this vlog. However, if you want to go to one of the demos, there are two more. There is one on the 2nd of December at Wellington, which is a really nice place. And I don't know when the other one is, but it's in Scotland. So any Scottish viewers, I'll try and get out as quickly as possible before the date, but I'll pop them up. Um, yeah, you can go to them. So you can experience the Piggy TV on tour. I was just doing a pan around to the arena and it's like, Nick Knock! <laughs> um, yeah, there'll be little snippets, but if you want to actually get, yeah. Did you hear that? What did she say? Come on, sharpen up! Sharpen up! Oh no, that's what they're going to be saying to me. What did you get flung out across the arena? Chin chin. Welcome to the. We're getting muddy shot here. Are you? Yeah. Should we have a look? What, should we have a look? What Granite Lens Media is cooking up? Oh, that is really nice. Very, very nice. Anyway, this is the little VIP thing. We've got nibbles. We've got champers. Before it all gets going, so that's some people here that we're all chatting with. And then, and then the bottle. See you later, guys. Um, then Piggy's up first, but I can show you the schedule. He is sassy. Yeah, he's honey. Stop it. Sorry, guys. Talk amongst yourselves while I wait for Peter. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> um, that's good, So I'm not on. You can have it in a minute, man. Um, 8.45, Meg Elphick riding Castletown Clover. Sorry, I need that to plan my day. <laughs> stop it, Biggie. What do you mean, stop right, it? you need to say hello to the vlog. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. Do you think it's going to go well? I'm loving my champagne. This is the... <laughs> it's just... You do it's champagne, Adnan. Paul Roger. Just love it. <laughs> so I get very excited at the beginning of the time. I've got Nick Knock on it already, so I hope she's not going to toddle off her wobbly legs at the minute and go uh, hurl her. I'm going to have to be keep picking her up. God. All chaos is about to happen, isn't it? Where's your glass, anyway? Yeah, mine's that one, the fuller one. No, the fuller one. I'm trying to... There we go. Not Cheers good. again, guys. Merry Christmas. No, oh, Merry Christmas. Christmas. I'm, this is the first time I've felt Christmas. Happy birthday. Good tomorrow. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <gasps> Got my new F and F gilet. Pippi passed it to me. I was like, oh, there you go. Happy birthday. And I was like, thanks for my birthday tomorrow. Incredible. Right, guys, the canopies are calling, so I'll see you probably when we kick off with, because I'm allowed this again now, piggy riding. There you go. <laughs> piggy riding Halo. <laughs> Have you got anything about this evening that you can give us a little thank you behind the scenes insight? <laughs> Nick Knox already texted me last night to say it, it is okay if you take the mic out of me tomorrow. <laughs> and you should have heard I what she like, was saying at Heartbeat last week. She was already lining you up. <laughs> <laughs> she was setting the. I was like, what ground. do you mean I have permission to take the piss out of you tonight? Well, I thought I should get in there, and you, you would. So I thought I'd make you feel slightly more comfortable about it. You, had, you actually had permission. Well, when. <clears throat> I said, to if be you fair, call me, I did say, I gave you two words mm -hmm. that I thought you could use. One was, one was peg leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one. we can do that. <laughs> yeah. You had an operation a couple of weeks ago, didn't oh, you? Oh, I that's, did. That's, yes. that's where the yeah, three weeks ago. Peg leg has come I from. I know, I know. Anyway, it's fine. Yeah. Just ignore it. In all seriousness, tonight, you know, it's Piggy TV on tour. I'm about learning, you know, educating riders, horses, trying to get better. This is never a masterclass. I know we talk about it when we get in there, but it's not. The important f thing for me is coming places and sharing my systems, interesting things that I hope people can relate to, but also with my mates that experience the same things or can give something to me as well as to other people. You know, I didn't, I, I was looking forward to coming to do it with sharing, you know, my things I know, but obviously Nick was and is incredible. We don't talk too yes, much. I'm going to stroke you like nice, isn't she? Exactly. <laughs> and I think this is, yes. this is why Nick was saying you can, you can make it funny. You don't have to be nice. Because to start with, I was Do like, you want to pour? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sit. Well, you're already sitting. Try sausage. Pour. What else do you do? Please don't play down. Yeah. No. That's it. That's Say my please. repertoire. <laughs> no, you're Wrong. fine. Yeah, no, you're fine. Uh, we don't want to, have to be getting our back up on the chair. Um, and, you know, Nick has been amazing, you know, and we'll say it out there, but it's not, you know, because we all get emotional. I grew up with Nick, we had so many experiences together, and she doesn't believe it, you know, this is a, a roller coaster for her of going into different lives, different opportunities, and it's really important that she feels that now she's got somewhere to start sharing her knowledge, because wasn't she? absolutely amazing. brilliant mm -hmm. amazing and i think it's you know it's awful to talk you know because right. we're all the same I think we're <laughs> about, <laughs> surely we, we, we relate on but <laughs> there is new work and whatever she can share and i want to learn some you know that is for sure because normally i'm competing against her going oh, well i wish you wouldn't rock up because <laughs> you're gonna beat me most of the time so <laughs> you could stay at home now she's not it's like Nina, what, what did you do and how did you do it because i want to learn it mm. and so that's what we want to try and share tonight and get you know a little bit of Nick Knox knowledge which we all need and need to you know she's a national treasure and I think we need to get what we can from her so it was important to me Nick was top of my list of coming up north to this is exactly what I wanted to do I want to learn from her and I want to start sharing her knowledge out there with lots of other people because it will make us all learn a heck of a lot more but it's going to be fun 
It's going to be informative and, we and it's going to be fun. And we can all watch Piggy ride so beautifully. And, and um, no, yes. shut up. <laughs> and it's been lovely. Shut I didn't tell you to shut up. Yeah, I know. Well, what, if she dishes it out, she's got to be able to take yeah, it. So yeah, yeah. Heck of a way. Yeah. Um, we've also got a couple of very, very talented young riders riding for us this evening. Izzy Cook, who is uh, one of the best young riders in the world right now, okay. has been a star on junior teams this year, is going to be riding one of the first exercises. Miguel Fick. Who's done a B hundred? Is going to, to come and ride one of yours, Piggy, a little bit later. Yeah, How she are you is feeling? Brave girl. I'm you actually all right actually... after the shampers. I'm feeling good. Yeah, because <laughs> you haven't you haven't sat on Castle Town Clover yet. No, no, never. Are you going to have a sit on outside? You're just going to get legged so. on yeah. inside the arena and away you go. She yeah. can do what she wants. It depends whether she gets rid of her champagne fumes. Whether I was going to say I need to need a sit. There's another bottle. Just yeah, you jump her and off you go. It's really not advised to. Drink and ride, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not dull? Well, hello. Okay, access for hawkers only, no pedestrians. Well, what about the people, the grooms? What about the grooms? <laughs> oh, he oh. says, yeah, that's, that's, probably, that's probably my horse going nuts. Okay, so guys, we are about to start, but as I mentioned earlier, yeah, here we go. Your number, it's dirty. Isn't it? Oh. Um, I don't get on for a while. I've got a little bit of time for the uh, the champers to wear off. Yeah, because you haven't had much champagne, have you? Mate, they were plying us. <laughs> it was Biggie. It Piggy. was Piggie. Have you, you emptied glass? She was doing a speech and she was like, yeah. Biggie, is your glass Literally, empty? I went to pick up the camera. She's like, oh God, are you empty, Meg? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, yeah, so we get to watch Piggy and Isabel first. Oh, I'm... sorry, Piggy was worried about her spot. Look at my spot. You can even see hers. Right. Mine's quite protruding. Everyone, spots are normal. Don't panic about spots. Um, I'm the the, the closing last. act. Yeah, <laughs> they want they want the person to fall at the end. <laughs> Keep the, the viewers till the, the end. grand finale. <laughs> exactly the clickbait. Anyway, I'm about to put some white britches on. Do you know what I've forgotten, guys? <sighs> But nice. Piggy Besser said that you can borrow hers. <laughs> and I'm going to try and keep it. I know, I did think Is that. Is that a trophy? <laughs> um, you should send that to Emily. Yeah, <laughs> I should, Em. I'll post you Piggy's hairnet. <laughs> um, anyway, I've got my Lemure britches that have never been ridden. He's ridden? <laughs> Worn. Champagne. Um, you're going to be pleased, mate, because these are the ones that have been... Where are they? You, you're, you're panicking. They're in the bag. What bag? That bag? No, no, no. Like, is in there brand new. They're in the bag. Okay, don't panic. Show me the light. Should I, I definitely put them in. There they yeah, are. Chill out. So I'm going to change. Han's going to help me decide what base layer to go with. I've got the gilet on. So, gilet, gilet. Gilet. Anyway, we better get going because I don't want to miss it. I want to do some learning. Guys, basically, it's the like taupe base layer or this one but we think we think taupe hang on you're being too quick it's the champagne you're being too quick do that again show right. the blue okay okay well, this, it's like a bluey gray so it's like the blue i mean it's, it's too late now if you want to go for the blue because well, it's not I, will, I am prepared to change again yeah but they won't you won't know their answer guys <laughs> don't comment down guys do me a favor and just comment saying you look lovely because otherwise i feel really bad if i should have worn the blue Right, this no, is what I we're wearing, just, I think. Do you think that's alright? I think so, I personally think. Do it again? Do it again. I think that looks lovely. It's quite a nice little, like. Yeah, no, uh, I like that. Earth tones. And then, got this belt, which will go. It ties the whole outfit together because it's gold and navy. We have got a highly entertaining, hopefully informative evening for you as well. We have arguably two of the most well known riders in the world, a European champion.
side then generally balances confidently so then we can add the, the others in. So be very accurate with your riding, jumping the same colour on the poles all the way around. Eyes up this time, staying up in the shoulders and using your lower leg to connect them back through from behind into the rain. Be straight. Now who's the straight monitor over here? Go. Okay, so how straight was she coming down here? Could she be a little bit more to the middle? And this is how you we're just doing a few little gymnastic exercises, but with our riding we need to be really true to ourselves and expect and be accurate. So middle to middle to middle. The fence is here, you've got all the white lines on the poles, you can line up the white the white poles as if you're doing an arrow head or a corner on the hospital course. Isabel could have also looked to the right, couldn't she, as she came to the last exercise. Super, well done. Was that a bit straighter? I've got one more exercise before I go, so we've come out to try and find my horsey. Have we got the other box down here? Yes. <laughs> right, now's when I pass the camera to my camera lady. Sorry, Grand Lens Media. Yeah, and then go up when you jump, yeah. Thank you. Oh, Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent service, guys. <laughs> well, I need to pop his girth up in a bit. Let's have a wee cut about and check it, yeah. Perfect. Just Amazing. do it on the left side. Thank you. Got horse. Let's steal the horse, mate. Shall we go? <laughs> naughty. <laughs> naughty, naughty. How do we get into the indoor? That is as much as it goes, I think. Watch the old kneecaps. Oh <laughs> How does it feel to, that you've just stole Piggy's horse and you just walk around the indoor on your own? <laughs> There's no one here. There's no one here supervising us. The start of this week, this was not planned. And now it's a Saturday and I'm just sat. It's 9 pm and you're sat on Piggy's horse. <laughs> Should we get some pickies of you on him? Yeah, probably. It's probably. Oh, good, you, you, look, you look beautiful, darling.
Mate, think think back to Megan at like, how old were you when you put that Facebook post up today? <laughs> <laughs> think back to that Megan. 2012. She would be screaming right now, wouldn't she? Actually, like, I'd, I'd wet myself. Didn't you wet yourself on the way here? <laughs> No, we figured out that that was sweat. <laughs> no, but like, Piggy and Nicola, like, I literally watched Nicola at the 2012 Olympics in London and was like, oh my god. Crazy. Look, at, look at you now. <laughs> I'm about to go and stack it in front of 300 people. <laughs> right, Peggy, hang on, let me just zoom out. It's showtime. It's showtime, Veronica. Well, we've trotted for about 15 seconds, so I feel very prepared. <laughs> Don't fall off, Meg. That's all the advice. And get a hairnet. Get a hairnet and don't fall off. Right, live, laugh, love. See you later. So Sue came for a lesson and she charged about galloping about over the doors, over all the jumps of time and things. She had a great time, um, but she did notice and she was too nervous to do them. So she rang me one day to say, you just ride him and see what he can do. And I believe him the first day I had him and I said, look Sue, he's 12 years old. He trots, he, he's quite a mincy trotter and he feels like he's got 16 legs and thinks Good. nothing goes. Oh, he's very enthusiastic and everything goes too fast. And I thought, is he totally... You know, is he really sound? Is he a real move or all the rest of that? But probably not. Does he need me in his life? Probably not. That's it, mate. Well done. You are safe. You might be funny, but you are safe. Um, and so I said to her, um, oh, well, I'll have a go. She goes, well, just do a few things and see how you, you find him. Yeah, he was 12. And so he was 12 and 13. I think in two years, he did get to advance. And he ended up being third at Glennon in 2019, just two months behind Brookfield Millicent, what was one of my real, real top horses. And we just had such a journey with him. I just loved his character. Yes, he does it. Oh, sorry, guys, get trotting. You might be better at trotting. That's it, good girl. Yeah, let's have some speed, shall we? Yeah, have some speed. <laughs> Like walking, maybe he wants to go down a trot. Wait till he gets jumping, then you then you know what the turbo is So he's genuinely a Irish hunter, and the journey and the fun we had from him, the enjoyment that we had was incredible. Nick's going to teach her, and I'm going to hand you over to Nick's expertise of seeing the horse. But Nick was safe. He likes jumping jumps. She can go fast, so she's just got to contain it. If she goes for a flyer, she will definitely fly. And she might not have the brakes on the landing, so she's patient all the time. He's not spooky, she just has to have patience with him. He looks spooky, but he can just sometimes be, he's 19 years young. You know, it's like Brown Brown, but it's been the same all, all the long. But he's really enthusiastic, but I'm going to leave him in your good hands. I'll jump up if I think we need help, but enjoy. He's a little bit. I hope, I hope you have fun with it. Brilliant, what a start. And well, both of them, Meg and, and him. Um, but just as she was working him in the walk, I, he was very much focusing on you. So I was just speaking, talking to Meg, saying to take his eyes away from the spook. Uh, and then it gives him a job to do. She can use her inside leg and just start to, um, just to give his body, put his body in a position. Now he's cantering, but he's not spooking. So that's good. And you'll be able to ride your line be it whether you're a walk, trot or canter, um, and just start to use the, this time just to get a feel for him in the trot and the canter, do some changes of the rein, and really start to um, find out where those buttons are, and start to understand him. So use the whole arena, lots of changes of the rein, and transitions. Oh, <laughs> That was definitely, I didn't see that. <laughs> so she's starting at the top. <laughs> well, good, and that's the lovely thing about these um, older horses that are trained. You know, the buttons are all there, a little bit of a change of, change of weight or a little leg out, and uh, a 
it pops in the it pops in the change. So just do some um, circles as well, and I quite like to use some fences as a focal point of your circle. So it gives you um, it gives you direction, and it gives it makes you be a little bit more strict on your riding um, and, and what you're doing. So you can be start to be accurate. I can't say that circle was very accurate, but it might do. It should improve. So it gives you as a rider something to concentrate on. So as you come around this oxer, a nice circle with the pot, we don't squash the pole. So a nice circle around the inside leg. Start to look where you're going. That's it, good. So now he's really starting to become your horse, isn't he? He's focusing on you. Now have a little change and change of the rein and do the same on the other rein. So that you start to become, rather than two individuals, you start to become one and you're on the same page. You Why don't you just drop in one of those changes? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, oh, he's definitely keen. Yeah, he is, but he's becoming yours. And one more circle around a fence, but be very accurate and disciplined with your riding. Looking where you're going, riding the outside of him, good. Now you're starting to look as if you want. You're going to tell me to hurry up, are you? Changes than I did. I didn't do changes like that. She just hasn't done any training to him yet. Good girl, mate. He's going to try and trot, and then he does them lovely. <laughs> Brilliant, well done. Okay, so let's just come forward to um, to walk. And um, how are you feeling up there, mate? Yeah, good. He's lovely. Yeah. And yeah. do you do you feel as if you you know where your buttons are? Do you feel happy now to have a little jump? Uh, yeah, okay, so let's put a little pole out. We're not going to be crude and make it count six, five, four, or six, four, two, <laughs> seven. Do you think most of the others need to get by? I think they possibly do. You feel the rhythm that you're in here. As Pace has just said, he needs, he, needs, he needs help to stay in that rhythm. So half up with the outside brain, use your lower leg, eyes up, and feel the rhythm. Well done. So then pop in one of those magic changes that you've got, and then let's come off the left rein. So right handed this time, look up towards the gallery, look up to the right rein, look left, right to me. Sorry, I'm getting a bit confused, my left and my right. Good. And then this time come out of that corner and over the crossbow and turn left. So one rhythm, look up to the outside rein, look up to the rhythm. Super, well done. Okay, so what happened? she has jumped on a horse that she's literally sat on for five minutes. So she was a little bit, I don't know what's going to happen, I'm just going to lean forward and go with the flow. Um, which was the reason that she, the horse was then quick over the fence and hand it down. Yeah. So just come again Meg, and this time just relax through your body, feel the rhythm sink into the, into the horse, really good. Hold it with your lower leg and try not to anticipate. Don't be too quick with your upper body. Rhythm, eyes up. Super, well done, good. So that, oh, and a lovely change. So that was much better, he didn't quick enough, he'd spent more time over the fence, and therefore you had a better counter at the other side. Let's come round the ox around this left brain this time, and turn right afterwards. Look after that right shoulder, look right, look right, good, well done. And then look after the outside brain, let's go up. Just have a little walk and give him a pat, and well done. Well done him, you're really starting to develop a partnership now and stay in a really good rhythm. If you feel he gets quicker, then just turn a circle, not too close to the fence, but turn a circle so you get that right ability back into him. And look left. Well done. And then through the tighter turn, just increase the leg pressure around his side so you're activating his back legs. He's an old horse, he needs a bit more help. And the outside rein, the right. Super, good. And now start to look across to your upright at the end. And don't panic about it, just keep looking up to the rhythm. Find the rhythm, stay up in your body. That nice straight line. Well done, steady. Yeah, we do try <laughs> <laughs> Good, well done. And like I always say, it's really important to make a decision. Okay, the worst thing we can do is to make no decision at all. 
You did survive. Very good. She was very good, yes, yeah, she'll be happy with that. if it went well piggy uh, i don't know as long as everyone as long as everyone was happy i think it went well i think it went well i think they're good fun very good fun good indeed fun. right i will see you soon piggy yeah, but well see you guys bye oh don't you steal that <laughs> Hello guys, sorry, only just catching up now. We've just packed up. I've managed to bag myself a piggy hoodie. Very nice. Best time ever. I'm actually quite impressed. I felt like I was reasonably brave. Kind of kept my cool and just was like, get on with it. Get on with it under pressure. Yeah, horse was absolutely lush. Oh That's God, the yeah, signal was quite bad. I think we'll do a proper debrief in the car, guys. The signal, sorry, I meant the lighting, guys. Yeah. Well, now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> there once was a girl. Right. How do you think it went, team? Very good. Yeah. How do you? Thanks, boo. Look wow. very smooth. <laughs> very smooth, very slick. Very slick and deep. Slick. <laughs> Didn't come off. Only put one circle in. One circle. Well, it's my signature. I can't not put a circle in. So I'm trying to, like, not view in shadow hand, but also illuminating this side of my face. Why do you put the light here? I really right? can't know because then it's then we get the camera shadow. Journey back, isn't it? <laughs> I know, I'm literally on cloud nine. Yeah, I'm knackered. I'm gonna sleep. Oh, oh sorry. I'll be awake. Don't you worry. Yeah, you'll be, I, hope, <laughs> I hope you'll be awake. <laughs> this is, guys. What's the time? It's 
20 to 11. Cool. This is my time to shine. This is where I really come alive. Oh, the night owl within me. Yeah, this is how I go to At least when we get back, you'll be... <laughs> Ham was there the filming that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, filming's not great. Sorry, guys. I fell asleep a little bit. I was asleep for most of it. You tell me it's been great. You know, it was really good. All oh, right, so, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if Granite Lens Media got the memo about doing some landscape footage I for the vlog, guys. I did get some so landscape footage. You, got one you, you might have to deal with the black lines. No, on the I got edge. you on the double and I got you doing other oh, things. Oh, the doubly. And I, I think I got four or five shots of landscape. I'm sure so. it'll be splendid. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Um, no, that was on like absolutely class. Not gonna lie, before I got on, we stood outside, I was thinking, mm, maybe shouldn't. Have agreed to this. Like, I should perhaps <laughs> should perhaps start saying no to some of Confidence these crazy things. Key, honey. But yeah, then I was just like, well, you're here now. You can't actually back out of it now because there's loads of people and they've not got anyone else to do it. So get on with it well, hang and just go. I did my hat. Oh, okay. um, and yeah, I th I think that was always like the best attitude, just to come out and be like, yeah, just come with it. But the horse was absolutely lush. Like, couldn't really mess it up. He was just really, really cool. Obviously, knows his job inside and out and like was kind of like a pony feeling even though how big do you reckon he was he's actually quite big 14 was quite two big. or something yeah they probably about 14. Pony, didn't they little they kept saying i think he was the biggest one that yeah. they had on the box oh of course no, no. Oh, yes. i'm so glad i've got yeah. a hand here because otherwise <laughs> yeah he's a right idiot no he was i reckon big. it's probably 16 three yeah i reckon yeah. so no, not 17, but I reckon 16 three. It's a good size. He was a good size. He was a good size. I'm very grateful to the lovely owner that let me ride it. him. Sorry. Oh, oh God, that is oh, that's the shadowing beautiful. there. Yeah, it's that just, nice. I like that. Honestly, that's added years. Yeah, a massive thank you to the owner that let me ride him because Piggy obviously had to check with her first and very grateful that I got to have a spin on him on Brownie. Yeah, go on. <laughs> I thought you meant brownie because I said brownie. We need to have those brownies. God, these are hard because they're cold. These are hard. They're quite nice. Take your teeth out. Absolutely love those. Right. We're going to wrap this up, guys, because they're going to eat all my sweets. Literally <laughs> had the best time. I'm so thankful to Piggy for inviting me and oh, for Nicola God, yeah. for calming all of my nerves. She was amazing oh, God, and she kept. <laughs> because they're the handheld mic. Nicola was able to like come and speak to me without the mic. So when I went really in nice and he was spooking and I was like, uh and she came over without the mic and was like, right, get him around your inside leg, stop letting him look at the crowds and just ride him. And I was like, after that. So yeah, she is an epic horsewoman. Like she just knows them and can read them so well. So it's a real privilege to have a lesson from her. And I need to sit up on my shoulders because that made a massive difference, such a small thing made a really big difference on a horse like that that is so well trained <sighs> that was sassy beatsy <laughs> live laugh love you go and unfollow granite lens no, media <laughs> lots of people said that they were saddles and pizza seats should we do pizza seats oh my yeah. god do, do a pizza seats on the coke suite go on pizza seats how does it finish well, how does life come to? Let's see, it's PCs! Perfect. I give right. this uh, 8.8. I said they're better than that. I love no, it. My it's my cold, it's taking my Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're my, they're my favourite flavour of sweet is a Coca Cola. When they're a flavor. tepid temperature, they're up nine and a half. Tepid temperature. Try saying that quickly three times. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, I had the best time. I'm very thankful to all of you for following this journey, liking and subscribing. <laughs> I'm thankful to you too as well for coming with me. Fair uh, and driving. Oh, come on, man. I want to wrap this up. You're not having to go at me. <laughs> anyway, I'm so thankful, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, you make these opportunities possible. And I am very thankful for you too, too as well. Hey, how long is it? Six minutes. Sweet. All right. I live, love, love you guys. Bye. 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 Like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, that'd be really helpful. Thanks. I know Hawks Hand is trying to. Shameless. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't pay for that. <laughs> <laughs>